Hello and welcome to part 4 of making your own avatar, where we will be rigging the bones for proper movement. If you're lucky, the rigging translates over from the base model, but if you're not lucky like I am, then it won't. This is where having it as loose pieces comes in handy. When your model is one giant mesh, you will have all these bones, and the tutorials tell you that all you need to do is click the mesh, click the bones, go to the object menu, and parent with automatic weights. So I went and did that, and it errors with the notification, failed to find solution for one or more bones. I googled this, and couldn't figure out why, but what that essentially means is it just couldn't assign the bone because the mesh is too complicated. That's not an error on the program part, that just means it couldn't automatically calculate how much movement your bone will give. So you go to pose mode and move it and see that some of the body moves and some of it doesn't. So when they say couldn't pair bones, that's exactly what they mean. When the mesh is separated, you can do it one piece at a time, and this won't be an issue. I start with the body, since that's the most important one. Now I'll make a note here. You have to do this in a certain order, or it won't work. Blender assigns things as first click child, second click parent. You have to click the mesh first, then hold shift and click the bones, then go to mesh and parent with automatic weights, and then it will hopefully work. Worst case, you have to do the weighting manually, but you'll most likely need to make adjustments anyway, and we'll go over that later. If you do it the other way around, it will pair, but it won't actually do anything, because the bones will become the child of the mesh, when they're supposed to be the parent object telling the mesh to move. You can look up here in the hierarchy window on the top right to see which one it tried to make the parent. The armature should have the body in the drop-down, not the other way around. That's another thing I had to figure out. Parenting bones with automatic weights just means that Blender does all the hard work of calculating what part of your mesh needs to bend when certain bones move. It's nice having them do that automatically because doing the whole thing yourself is annoying. For each mesh piece, you can pair it individually to avoid the unable to parent bones error. Some might still error, so you can pair them manually the same way as before, but instead of clicking automatic weights, click bone, and then you'll probably have to weight paint it anyway. <laughs> but if it still doesn't, we have one more thing to try, and that's the weight paint calculator, which I will go over in a bit. Now let's say all your bones are parented. At any point, you can go to the cats tab and click start pose mode, and then move your character around to make sure that everything works. I bet some things aren't going to work, and that's fine, it's easy to fix. There are two ways to fix them, weight painting and vertex group removal. I'll start with the vertex group because that's the most straightforward way. Let's say you have a right leg bone. On my model, if I pose it and move the right leg, the toe bean on the left foot paw also moves. And that's clearly not right. So to fix that, we just delete the vertex group pairing. You should know this already, but your 3D model is made of vertices. So the vertex groups are the selection of vertices assigned to a certain bone for movement. If all the bones are paired and named correctly, you should have a bunch of vertex groups named for each bone. In that case, if we want the left toe bean not to move with the right leg, we just select the left toe bean, go to the object menu on the right, go down to the object data tab, which is this green triangle, and then delete the right leg vertex group from it using the minus sign on the right, and ta-da, it no longer moves with the left leg. But sometimes it still does, which means there are a few more adjacent bones it's also connected to, so find out which ones and delete those as well. The other method is by manually painting the movement out of it. Once again, you have to select it in a certain order, so you click the armature, then hold shift and click the mesh you want to edit, and go to the top left drop down and select the weight paint tab and it will switch to weight paint mode with different colors showing. Red means that section of mesh is 100% affected by the bone movement, and dark blue means it is not affected at all. If you control click on a bone, it will select that bone and show the areas affected by its movement. So in our case, I click the armature, then the left toe bean, then go to the weight painter, and control click the right leg bone, then paint the toe bean blue so it doesn't move. The painter is a bit annoying, and sometimes it doesn't get all of it, so that's why I like the vertex removal option. If you're having trouble getting bones to pair the mesh, you can also use this painter's auto-calculate feature. Control click the bone you're trying to assign so it's selected. Now go up to the weights option menu and click assign automatic from bone and it should be able to get it to work. For fine tuning, you can use any of the weight paint tools to add or subtract movement from bones to get it to look the way you want it to. At any point, you can go to pose mode and move your model to see how the bones flex. One thing I like doing is moving the bones an extreme amount like 10 meters, 
away from the body so I can see what other vertices are moving that shouldn't be, and then I can fix them. Once your movements are good, we move on to the next step, which is the VRChat specific animations. Go ahead to part five.